best friend. Space travelers. Got it. You missed. Got it. Got it. You missed. No, I didn't. Missed. You know what, Wait. Skip? Shh. Mr. Dickens says there's a comet flying through space toward us with a big, long tail behind it. Oh, if only we could hitch a ride through space on it. Think of what we could see. All of the planets and stars. <laughs> oh, Skip, you're such a dreamer. Look, there it is. It'll reach us very soon now. Did you hear? That flying ball up there in the sky. The kids just said that you can ride on it. Think of that. So do you think we should go and fly through the sky? How are we going to get up there? This is how. We stretch a band between two trees and twang right up. Huh? Hmm. So what's taking so long? We'll miss the comet. We're ready. Climb on. <laughs> Set. You bet. What are you guys doing? Well, duh, we're about to go flying through outer space. On the comet? Yeah. We'll fly around a bit, check out the cosmos. This whole thing was your idea anyway. Yep. Are you nuts? I was just doing some daydreaming out loud. Daydreaming? <laughs> just admit it. You're jealous of us. <laughs> Three. Oh, please wait. Two, this is really dangerous, one. you guys. We have liftoff! Ah! A rocket! Oh. Why'd you do that? We could have been on the comet by now. Let it go. They're holding us back. Huh? <laughs> 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 At this rate, we're never gonna make it to the dumb uh, comet. Uh, no. Pretty soon it'll have flown away. Oh! Hey, look there! Huh? My mirror is better than your mirror because it's sequin encrusted. Mine's better because it's got my face in it. Girls, exactly how long can this argument go on for? Wouldn't you rather be decorating our flowers with these balloons? Hey, thanks for the balloons! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! We're finally actually real life space travelers! Now yeah. we just need to jump onto the comet! <laughs> Stop! Please wait! Come back! It's, it's dangerous, dangerous, guys! Brave and courageous astronauts like us should be saluted with parades and fireworks! I salute you! Awesome, astronaut! <laughs> I salute you too! We rock! Mr. Diggins explained to the caterpillars that it's impossible to ride a comet. Not only is it extremely cold out in space, there is also no air at all. But while nobody can cruise the galaxy on a comet, at least everybody can look up into the sky and enjoy how beautiful and majestic it looks racing through space. Hello, I'm Monzi, and I'm your best friend. Artistic interpretation. Dude, I'm tired of eating. We should do something fun, huh, Poopsie? Yeah, but whoopsie, all we ever do is eat. What else is there? Oh, look there, awesome. It's beautiful. Yeah, colors and stuff. Hey, look. Oh. Wow, colors. Usually everything's just green. 
No! All the beautiful colors! They went away! Now there's only the green. It was too beautiful to last. Eat something, you'll feel better. Ah, poopsie. There's more to life than snacks. I am so inspired. Come on, let's make the world a better place. We'll paint everything all different colors. Great, where do we start? I think we'll start with you. Is that an arm or a rainbow? I can't tell. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. I'm gorgeous. Who needs green? <laughs> Your turn, brother. Look at me. I'm a color pillar. A strawberry. So, do we make it better or let it stay red? No, Poopsie. This strawberry needs an artist's touch, like me. Yeah, that's much better. I was thinking, we haven't used any black yet. Hey, you're right. Go for it. Looks good. Go black. Oh, what is this? There's only toadstools here? I could have sworn there were porcini mushrooms. <laughs> Children, come back here. Don't eat these. Toadstools will make you sick. <gasps> Interesting. Something's not quite right. Am I dreaming? What is going on? Where did all these weird, freaky rainbow berries come from? You can't eat those, you'll get sick. I guess we'll just have to find some green grass to eat. Keep your eyes peeled for some. What is up with all these blue flowers? I was told to collect pollen from yellow flowers, but there's only blue ones. Huh? Mama? Oh, we're starving. Where is the green grass? Oh, we'll find it. I know we will. Mama? Grass! I found it! Look! Mama! Green grass! Ah, it hurts! Moonsy, pull it off! Ah. <sighs> Sorry, little friend. That's not grass. That skips butt. Something is very wrong with our meadow. Oh, what to do? From the forest and the meadow, this land is cursed! Try and keep up, children. That's right. Hide in the hole. It's a madhouse! How can a hole not be a hole? Oh, I think maybe it's raining. Stop it! Can't you see we just painted everything in the world? Hey! Oh, look at the rain, kids! The curse! Is washing away! Oh, yay! Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, everything's back to the way it was. <laughs> yeah, and nobody's trying to eat my bottom. All of our hard work. Come on, Poopsie. We'll paint it again, and next time, we'll paint it better. So you're the reason the beetles were all starving? And it's your fault that I didn't make my nectar quota. Starvation and nectar? What are you talking about? How could they possibly understand art when all they do is eat? Well, I liked your painting. You should paint the bridge that goes across the brook. Why bother? The rain will wash it all away. Well, yes, if you use watercolors. <laughs> but if you use oil-based paint instead, I promise the rain won't wash them off. Sounds great. Yeah, we'll paint it. Our art will make your world better. Hoopsie and Poopsie painted the bridge all the colors of the rainbow. Everyone loved it, and Granny Annie used her artistic vision to make a beautiful thank you cake. The caterpillars agreed that art had never tasted better. Hello, I'm Monsi, and I'm your best friend. Archaeologists. Thanks for all your help, Moonsy. I should do well in my gardening class now. I bet I get an A. I don't mind, because I love to garden. Oh my goodness! What the- Moonsy! Ah! Wait, where are you going? Moonsy? Are you all right? Look at this! Somebody drew some pictures. You know what? I've seen pictures like these before, in an archaeology book. Archie who? Archaeologists are people who search for objects from the past. They can find things like vases and spoons, but sometimes they find pictures in caves, like this. Are these from the past? Yes, they were drawn by our ancestors. We made our own archaeological discovery. We did? Oh, look! There is some more over here, but it's so dark I can't see them. Hold on! I know where there's a light. Wait here. Up high! 
Get up high. Interesting. I wonder where he's going. Yeah. And why do you think he has that lantern? You keep an eye on him. I'll go get some more lanterns, just in case. Oh, I know. It's a treasure hunt. Come on. Down here. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a tiger by its toe. This way. So this is what life was like for them? It looks like they worked hard. But they had fun, too. They really loved to dance. I think that you should have picked the other tunnel, whoopsie. Then go back if you want. I like this one. Ah. Quiet. Ah. Do you hear that? Ah. What if that's our ancestors? Maybe they still live down here in the cave. Well, then, it would... It would... It would be the greatest archaeological discovery in the history of the whole world! We're very sorry to bother you. We just wanted to introduce ourselves. Oh, there they are. Hooray! It's them! We wanted to help you guys. Show us where the treasure is. Why are you shouting? We don't need them! I guess they don't feel like saying hello. Quartz must have found it. They better share! Save some for us! Huh? All right, where's that treasure? It's gone! Bring it back! is going on? My goodness, it's been a long time since I've seen these. When I was young, I tried to draw what I saw, how people worked and played and had fun. All of it, what you found, kids, is the visual history of our town. And that's how Moonsy and Weeby were credited with uncovering the long-forgotten drawings of Mr. Diggins' childhood. Who knows what other treasures are waiting to be discovered? Hello, I'm Monsi, and I'm your best friend. Hypnotist. <sighs> Monsi, get ready for the power of hypnosis. You will fall into a mystical mental state. A fall into what? A hypnotic trance. It's like you're asleep, but you're not. Just relax. Now close your eyes. Breathe evenly. Raise your hand. Lift your leg. Now run. Ow, ow, ow. Isn't it kind of dangerous to run with your eyes closed? Are you hypnotized yet? Well, my foot hurts. Does that mean I'm in a hip what's it trance? Why'd you do all the stuff that I asked you to? Because you asked me. You're not hypnotized. Moonsy, you must be immune to hypnosis. Wait, I can practice on Weeby and Dottie. Hey, Dottie, Weeby, come. Come to me. See that? They're hypnotized already. Hello. You will sit. Uh. Stand. Why are you ordering me around all of a sudden? You must be immune to hypnosis. That's all right. Weeby, close your eyes. But if I close my eyes, I won't be able to see you acting like a weirdo. 
this is nothing weird, all right? I'm about to become the most celebrated hypnotist of all time. And why is it you want to do that? Because once I am, everybody will do what I tell them to. Okay, good luck with that. But we're not playing, Master. Why don't we just kick the ball around instead? Yeah, we could do that. Wait, I know this can work. You're getting drowsy. Skip, we already said we're not playing that. Why don't you go hypnotize a flower or something? Let's go, Moonzy. I command you! Come back! Hey, we should totally mess with Skip. And once we're done with him, he won't try to order us around ever again. <laughs> and one, and two. <laughs> That's really good. And one, and two, and one, and two. <laughs> you will freeze! Hey, it really worked! Yeah! I'm an actual hypnotist! Lay down, Weeby. And now rise up into the air. All right, just float there. Moonzy, walk forward. Walk in a circle and sing la la la. Dottie, flap your arms and also jump. Now, Weeby, down. Now dance. <laughs> cool. All right. You are no longer under hypnosis. Hey, guys, stop it. What's happening here? Come on, guys, relax. But I brought you out of the mystical trance. Get up. Stop it. You're no longer under my power. I just skip rope or something. You will stop following orders and act like you. You will be yourselves again. Oh, Moonzy, everybody. Oh, please stop being hypnotized and just come back. Dottie, everybody, come out of hypnosis. Just please, say something. Something, 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 something. Stop! I don't want to be a world-famous hypnotist. I just want, I just want my friends back. I can't believe this is happening. What have I done? Time you realized. We're, we're not hypnotized. hypnotized. Skip, sorry. We were messing with you. Oh, thank goodness. Moonsy, I'm glad I didn't really hypnotize you guys. Oh, yeah. So what do the three of you feel like doing? I'll do whatever you want. It turned out making others do whatever you say wasn't so great after all. It's way better to play with your friends than it is to boss them around. <laughs> And I'm your best friend. Different music. So, Mr. Weber, can you tell I've been practicing my music? Uh, Moonsy, that sounded absolutely lovely. You have a great ear for music. You played it almost perfectly. You could become a great musician. Really? Thanks a lot, Mr. Weber. I've wanted to learn how to play the flute for a really long time. The flute, huh? You bet. I love it. I like to play all my favorite songs. Look and listen. Hmm. Well, it's not bad, and it's cheerful, but to be honest, it's a little bit simple. Simple? There's hundreds just like it. But with your talent, you could be performing serious classical music. You could become a real musical artist. Mr. Weber said my tune was too simple. There's hundreds just like it. So I'm not going to play it again. Well, I still love it. I don't care if there are thousands more. Well, play it for us. Just once. Well, what do you think of the song? Because if you like it, play it. Moonsy, what is this? I thought we agreed you were going to take music seriously. You're right, Mr. Weber. I'm sorry. I promised to take music more seriously. But I don't get it. I really like the song he was just playing. We, we all like it. That kind of music is frivolous nonsense. But a real musician must use his talent on important pieces and forget about all these popular ditties. We must get started right away. I'll introduce you to an extraordinary music. Right, here we are. I want you to learn this masterpiece. It's called Pain and Patience, and it will change you. This music is 
depressing. I miss fun music. Moody, what's going on? Why aren't you playing Pain and Patience? I did play it for a little while, but then I started to miss playing my favorite tune. If you want to be truly great, you cannot be allowed to have questionable taste. Therefore, I will guide you to make sure you do not ruin your talent. Yes, brilliant! You just keep that depression flowing. Phew. Moody? insist on playing the wrong kind of music. I'm not sure, Mr. Weber. I just like it. But since it's ruining my talent, just... <sighs> don't you still wish to become a really great musician? I don't know if I do. It doesn't feel the same. Why become a great musician if I... I can't play the music I want to play? Uh, uh... Moonzy! Moonzy, I'm here! Moonzy, over here! Whoops! I'm pretty sure this is a flower. Moonzy! Huh? And I'm pretty sure this is a... a flute! Moonzy, please forgive me for putting all that pressure on you. You're right, music should be performed with pleasure, whether it's a ditty or a stuffy old tone poem. You play whatever you love and don't ever stop. Mr. Weber, this is for you. Who knows? Maybe one day Moonzy will compose important, serious pieces of music. But whatever he writes and plays, it will come from the bottom of his heart. Hello! I'm Moonzy, and I'm your best friend. Detective. Who's there? Skip? I'm not plain old Skip. I'm a detective. Who? A detective. I investigate crimes. Wait, do you mean there's been a crime here in the forest, Skip? Oh, nothing's happened yet, but I've got my eye on everyone, just in case it does. Skip, but what are you doing looking at me? You don't think I'm a criminal? Anybody can be a criminal. You're right. There are no criminals in the forest. I just want so badly to be a great detective, though. Is that too much to ask of life? Geography. Weeby, I'm sorry. I'm doing this for Skip. He'll have a real-life crime to solve. Right. English is done. No geography homework today. So, on to math. Skip! Hey, guess what? Somebody in the forest has committed a crime for you to detectivize and stuff. Come on! Ah. <clears throat> hey, guys. What's up, Weeby? Well... What? Anything wrong? Well, I've got lots of homework to do. That's all? Homework's hard? Hmm. Is everything else all right? Yes. I finished my English. I'm doing math now. Listen, Moonzy, I need to work. You really haven't lost anything? No. Like your books, maybe. Have any of your books been stolen? For example, like your geography book? All my books are right here. Alleged golden paint. 
on the table? This is quite a mess. Like they were searching for something, yes. But why bother searching if the paint was sitting in plain sight? Weird. Hmm. Well, the window is open. And if the thief used it... Of course, they will have left behind some footprints. Ugh! Moonzy, all of these footprints are yours. Hang on. Moonzy, look it. Hey, what do you make of this? The criminal must have left this geography book behind, which means that the owner is the thief. Moonzy! Guess what? You were asking about my geography textbook. Well, now it's missing. Would you, by any chance, be interested in art? Sure, I really like to draw. And where were you, Weeby, at exactly what time? Right after breakfast. Right, where were you after breakfast? Doing homework. Are you sure? Well, of course I'm sure. Skip, why are you being like this? Does this geography book look at all familiar, sir? It's mine. But Skip, why would you want to steal it? Me steal? You steal. You're the one who stole Moonzy's paints. You, you're the criminal here. No way, Skip. You better take that lie back. Guys, please quit it. Neither one of you guys stole a single thing. How, How can, can you, you be sure? Oh, uh, well, maybe I just know it, all right? It's like a feeling, you know? I am right, though. It was you who reported that the book was stolen in the very first place, and I found it underneath your window, where the ground was covered with your footprints. All of it's coming together. It was you. What was me? This crime was committed by Moonzy. Oh, right. It was a real crime, and you solved it, Skip. Can someone please tell me exactly what's happening here? Weeby, Moonzy was the one who stole your book. Why did you do it? Yeah, why? Geography's totally boring. And the paint. You must have stolen it from yourself. You stole both things? You're right. Good job, Skip. You solved the crime just like a real detective. Hooray! Moonzy explained how he'd done everything to give Skip the chance to be the real detective he wanted to be.